Hey, what's up guys? Today we're back here and we're gonna look at the comments you left on our co-create page and also the comments left on our YouTube video about the coffee grinder silencer. So let's dig right in. Uh, the first comment we wanna address is from Charles Jameson. Investigate the source of the sound. In a coffee grinder, there are several places where the sound is generated. The first being the hopper. I think the second place to look would be at the burrs. These burrs here are conical burrs. They each have different types of mechanics that, that help them grind the coffee into the size that you want. There is sound generated at the burr. You have two parts, the outer burr and the inner burr. One of the two is stationary. As the beans flow through the hopper into the burr set, that mechanical grinding action generates some noise. The third thing to investigate would be the motor. Uh, typically in coffee grinders, they use a universal motor. Those universal motors are very affordable, but they also generate a lot of noise pollution. Looking back at our last video, Video, the coffee grinder that we use uses a very loud motor. So the opposite of a motorized coffee grinder would be a manual coffee grinder. You can hear the, the beans being crushed and pulverized, and you also hear them sloshing around the, the container. Using a manual coffee grinder is much quieter than using a motorized coffee grinder. So the next part of his question was, he suggested to drill a series of holes all at different depths on the inside of the wooden cabinet. Effectively what that would do is, as the sound wave travels toward the wall, it hits this uh, uneven surface. Part of the sound wave that, that hits the peak of the wall would uh, reflect and bounce back, and then some, some more of that wave would go in underneath it and go to the low point and bounce back at a totally different angle, therefore breaking up the sound. That's a good idea, Charles. Matt in Kentucky 81. Why not grind coffee in a vacuum box? Sound can't travel if there's no air. Also, better for the coffee. There is uh, moisture inside the coffee beans. Moisture boils in a vacuum. And that probably would not be good for your, your ground coffee. But I love the idea. I love the creativity. Why don't you make the motor quieter? Add sound insulation dampening for the vibration. I think the way that we're going to address the motor noise is to actually use a motor that spins at a low RPM. I have a coffee grinder at home. The max RPM of the motor is 250 RPM. If we can get a motor that you know is sub 200, maybe even sub 100, it may take a little bit longer to grind your coffee. I know for a fact that the motor is gonna be quieter. All right, let's head over to Code Create and see what's happening over there. RJC writes, line the wooden structure with acoustic foam. I think we do know that we need some kind of sound damping material on the inside of our enclosure. He also said, make a much smaller acrylic window. Make it so you can see, but not so large that it raises the noise level. So the thing with the acrylic window on our first set of prototypes, we didn't seal the gaps around the door to the enclosure. We just want to make sure our enclosure is very tightly sealed to help uh, keep noise from escaping. Manzaja writes, appliance garages are used to hide countertop clutter and appliances from view. Could we expand on this concept by creating a functional appliance garage used to quiet your loud and obnoxious appliances? I like the name appliance garage. <laughs> It kind of brings up what I was thinking about what this coffee grinder silencer could be. The first few videos have been about a coffee grinder specifically. Think about your food processor, your blender. I was kind of thinking something that sits against the wall underneath your top cabinets. Literally a garage, a place where you store your appliances that, that are loud. I think one, one idea that I, I was thinking about recently is uh, kind of like a, a big car grinder at a junkyard. They're very slow turning wheels. It's two cylinders. They turn really slow and they kind of just, they, they, will, they will eat anything. There's tons of different ways to pulverize large things into small things. We just have to scale it down adequately for home use. I just really want to thank all you guys for your comments and feedback. It's really encouraging to see the interest in this product. We've got to start diving into some of the details about user interaction, about functionality, about what it's going to look like. All right, so what I need from you guys is what would be an acceptable decibel range for a coffee grinder in this enclosure? For a frame of reference, a GE dishwasher and probably some other dishwashers, they operate at around 40 to 45 decibels. Let us know in the comments what you think it should be. Also, jump over to CoCreate and talk to us on there. I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.